Howdy YouTube and welcome to another episode of The Gunman. So today we've got a short video for you on these ANI hybrid blowers. So they are a little bit different than your normal paint drying blower. Anyone who uses water-based paints will be familiar with these, but if you're not, basically, uh, yeah, you need the airflow over your water-based paints to help the drying. But the difference in this one is it's got some kind of magic in there. I've got no idea how it works, but I know that it does work. So there's no electrical parts in in there or anything but all you need to do is plug the air into it and it will heat the air up and it's actually quite impressive so um, I've done a few little measurements and if you hang around to the end we'll show you that like I've got my temperature gun and it was able to raise the panel temperature by five degrees so I was pretty impressed with that that was the other one though so there's two of them so this one here this one will um, pass more air over the panel which is uh, better for the larger panels so that's why I've been using this on say bonnets and larger sections but if um, yeah so especially when you're using the waterborne paint if you do say a three layer pearl which is exactly what happened to me at the end if you do in a three layer pearl and in your last coat of base coat you get like a black speck landing you've got to dry it out sand it out and then go all the way back to the start so you've got to put lots of material on so being able to get that panel up by five degrees is actually uh yeah quite impressive but um i have found that the other one that we'll use at the end it's not as good for doing large panels so like i say this one here because this actually works on the venturi you can see that it actually draws in the spray booth there as well another thing worth mentioning is that little thing down the bottom is an air filter or a water filter so any of the air that it draws in through the bottom it will actually remove the moisture out of it because yeah being that we're drying waterborne paints the last thing that you need to do is be increasing the amount of uh, moisture in the air so as you can see this one here with that funny little um, orange thing on the front that's what I've been using more for the smaller section. So like I say, if you just get a little nib in your waterborne uh, base coat or something and you need to just uh, rectify one section, that's uh, probably the better one. But I would say most people would benefit from the other one because it's uh, a bit more versatile. You can uh, do the larger sections with it. But in saying that, I do actually still find this one quite handy. And as you can see, here, I've got my temperature gun. It's actually getting quite hot to the hands. As you can see there, it's getting up to nearly 50 degrees Celsius. Celsius, and even the panel here I was able to get that up like I said before by five degrees so spray guns direct did send these out they are from ANI the company ANI and I pretty well known for doing good quality tools and good values so uh, $313 is what they're currently going for on spray guns direct now to put that into perspective a standard iwata blower was about $280 so it's not that much more expensive but you do get a lot more um, so like you can see there it's about 29 or say 30 degrees on the section that I was heating up yet the rest of the panel is about 25 degrees so pretty impressive really I think they're awesome um, it's going to be up to you whether or not you think it is worth the price but that's it guys they exist spray guns direct send them out i'll put a link in the description if you're interested until next time get out there and paint some shit coming out